Okay, I want to uh, do a quick, uh, very quick video on uh, Cisco Basics. There's a lot of videos on the internet that are take that go really in detail and make you want to stop playing the video. So here, here I go. This is a basic 2620 um, router. Um, what I have here is the, just the router itself uh, with no interface cards in it. You have I have three different types right now, but there's many different ones. Um, what I have here is a basic um, dual um, serial port card. Um, actually, forgot to say one, mention one thing. These are actually WIC cards. Um, they're basic expansion cards for Cisco routers. Um, you have what I have here is a two serial port, a single serial port, and a T1 card. In order for these to function, um, you need to have basically uh, another device, Cisco router, or hook it to your T1 box to get it to work right. This is your WAN interface for your internet. So your internet goes into this and comes out your internet port to your to your local network. Okay, in order to configure a Cisco router, you need two things. You need a computer with a serial port on it, which is an RS-232 port, and you will need a console cable with a DB9, which is basically an ethernet port on the back one side and a serial port on the other side. So all you gotta do is hook this to your computer and the other end to the console port. Then you use Hyper Terminal to get into it, to configure it, um, and you know after that it should be up and running. Um, this is a serial connecting cable to, to cross connect to them. So if you want to do a Cisco lab, you can connect like this to both cards and different Cisco routers to connect into the WAN ports and again to communicate. And it's very easy to configure actually. This is a different card. Even though it looks like an Ethernet jack, but it's actually a T1 card. This would be a T1 crossover. It connects T1 to T1 on Cisco routers. So if you wanted, if you have multiple T1, you could connect them all together to multiple T1 cards in a big giant WAN environment. <coughs> Let's see, there's another slot that you can easily add another uh, WIC card into. This one is a um, two like you could add. There are actually several different ones. You can have ones with more Ethernet interfaces for local networks, more serial inter WAN inter interfaces, um, and voice over IP. Um, and there's actually very uh, many of them. If you go to the Cisco website, you can find out more information. Um, what I'll do is I'll um, install two of the cards right now and show you how it's done. One thing to note, power must be off when you're ins installing a uh, Cards. All I do basically slide it in. Let me tighten these up. I need this. Tighten them down. I'll do this one. Keep in mind one thing when you're putting these in, you gotta make sure you actually put them on the rails inside just in case. If you don't do it right, you will break them. It is very easy to break these cards. <clears throat> After you install it, power on, go into your configuration, and you should be uh, set to go.